Chronicles, we are at day 395. Got it right the first time. Woohoo! It is uh, Friday, work at home day, homework day, and it is January 29th. So, come on. It's about. Five or ten after eight this morning, I think. That's what the time, what the time frame is right now. And I'm taking the dog out to use the bathroom. Because he was snoozing earlier. He doesn't get to sleep in either. So, because I feel bad sometimes. Because, you know, poor guy's like zonked out under the bed. And, I mean, I know I got to get up. But he's got to get up. So, I'll let him sleep in a little bit. Because I'm a nice pop. So yesterday evening, we, uh, uh, I kind of spur the moment bought a GoPro. I know I probably shouldn't because they aggravate me, but I found one on, I think it was, yeah, it was Amazon, like a hundred, under 150 bucks and it's a Hero 7, so it's a nicer one. And uh, so I, and it had free shipping, and it was says arrived by February 3rd. Whether it will or not, I don't know. And uh, so then I was going to buy a little waterproof case for it. And it's, of course, uh, they're hard to find. You can find aftermarket ones. But I wanted, you know, I knew I wanted to make sure I got the right one. So I got it from an actual GoPro one from B&H. I think I picked to have it shipped to arrive by the 3rd, and I think I ended up, because I had to change some things on my shipping address or something. I don't know. It was weird. I bought from them before a while back. So, and when I went back to it, I think it went back to the, the Econo shipping. So, it still says three to five business days, but I don't know. So... I may have it, may not. If I have it, cool. If I don't have it, I'm not going to worry about it. But, I don't know. I, I think I've spent enough time messing with that old, the other GoPro that <laughs> I can also just get a new one. So, anyways. Um, but yeah, that's what we did. Did last night, watched some videos. And we went to bed early. So, it was before 10. But, I don't know. It's. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. I think that's why I woke up at four this morning because I was just like, got to thinking about things, and I was just like, I think it's time to go. I'm ready to start. You know, packing, planning. It's like maybe I should go ahead and get the van gassed up, and well, that kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah, but it's cold. It is cold today. So we're going to feed the dog and get to do homework. But it's a nice, at least it's not raining. And part of our lakes are frozen. This is an area that always has standing water. It's frozen. So, yay. I guess Blackie's probably ready to go in, maybe. So. Oh, I should be getting, I need to check on the windows because it's supposed to be today, but I don't I kind of feel like it's not going to be today because I haven't gotten the email yet. So I think the last time I got them, I ordered them in the store. So the guy called me, but maybe they won't call me this time because it was an online order. I don't know. I'll keep checking. But hopefully get the windows this weekend. Maybe. So... Anyway, back to it. All right, so for today's activities, I have uh, talked to a customer about termites, um, had a FaceTime with Brandon and Andrew, and had to talk to a guy from another branch about termites. So I also got um, all the pest control customers now have it entered that we did a termite eval. So that way we won't try to quote my termite job if we've already done it. Then my computer died. So, the problem being that, A, I'm a dummy, 
And B, I forgot my charger. So my charger is sitting at the office. So I can't charge my computer. Not that it would matter because if you're using your computer, I can't, my, um, this one, I can't charge it and use it at the same time. So either I would have had to not do anything on the computer all day and let it charge and then do it, or I could have used it until it went dead, shut it off like it did, and wait for it to charge back up and then hopefully get back on it again before the end of the day. Um, so it wouldn't have really mattered a whole lot if I had my charger except I could have maybe charged it last night and I would have started with 100% instead of like 90% or 80% wherever I was at. So that's the only thing that would have saved it a little bit more. But um, I went ahead and ordered another charger. It's supposed to ship to, by, supposed to get it by Sunday. I figure if nothing else, I need to have one here because if I'm going to be working from home, I need to have, like, I don't need to keep pulling everything I got. So all I got to do is grab my computer and I got my charger here and I'll be good. Um, plus two, who knows, maybe it makes it, charge maybe it's the charger's bad i don't think it is because we tried Pat patrick's charger from his laptop and it did the same thing so i don't think it's a charger issue but like a, the plug um i also went ahead and got a 128 gig micro sd card um just because i want to get free shipping and i'm gonna need one anyway so i went ahead and got one uh but it's available it's not available for ship it's available for pickup so i had it pick up today so i just had pick up from the Bisco store because Corinne's at work so maybe she can grab it I hope she can uh, before she leaves work if she can't then I just guess I'll drive to Bisco tomorrow um but yes yeah, so that's where we're at and I don't know really what to do now because I guess I need to eat so let's do that um still haven't heard anything back from the windows so because I was kind of hoping the windows would be available for pickup and then I could just maybe ride because we used to have office max here and I could probably just walk in office max and go buy one of those plugs um but we don't have one anymore in fact we have no to my knowledge computer store here that's open on you know that I could just walk in and get one no big retailer anyway and the Walmart store doesn't have them in stock so but I, if I had to go out and get my windows, then I would at least just ride around and just make sure I'm not stupid. Maybe check somewhere. Like, we may still have... I don't think we have a radio shack anymore. I don't think it's a thing. But at least I could... I don't know. Just go look. Because, um, like I said, Office Max always seem to have accessories and stuff like that. So, But they're not here anymore. So I'll eat something and... I don't know. I guess I need to pay some bills and stuff. So I need to do that maybe tonight. But... Uh, yeah, forgot my charger. So, there's that. Um, also, this weekend, I plan on maybe getting stuff finalized for the trip. Um, like I said, I have my outfits kind of picked out. But, if I get those shirts in, which I'm supposed to, but you know how COVID is, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go just black shirts and then change up my coat game. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm going to eat something. That'll help. All right, well, it's about 4 o'clock. Um, phone was ringing at like 3.15. And I'm like, I don't think anybody's going to answer it because everybody usually checks out. See? Uh. I, <laughs> literally, it just been on the phone this whole time. And didn't have to burp. So anyway, phone was ringing, so I answered it. And it was some guy who has... He says he's getting ate up by something. He can't see it. Um, he said they're super tiny. He said, but if he focuses, he can see it. And they're like the fastest thing ever. And it's all times of day, day, night, doesn't matter, in his car. Um, and uh, like nobody else in his family is getting bit, but he's getting tore up. He ain't really had a good night's sleep since June of last year. Uh, he's done copious amounts of research. He's even bought the plug-in CO2 emitter, glue board things. He's he's tried all these different, like, re insect repellents. Nothing has worked. Um, but he can't catch them because they're fast. And he says they can see real well. 
honest to God, doesn't sound anything like I've ever heard of before. So, and I was just sitting there thinking because I was getting ready to get up because I've got five or six people I need to call for follow-ups, but they're on the G drive, which is on the computer that won't turn on because it's dead. So do I call them on Monday? Do my follow-up then? Because it's just a follow-up call. It's not like it's a, you know, I'm supposed to get their credit card information or something. Or do I get my, you know, 2002 MacBook, log into their Gmail account, which is going to send alerts saying, oh, we don't know this device, and do it from there and call them here at 5 o'clock. I don't know. So me and Blackie are sitting here. Ooh, ow. She's claimed me. So we're just going to hang out. Still haven't heard anything about the windows yet. So, poop. <sighs> I guess now, at 425, I'm officially done with work. And uh, still no word on the windows. So... Also, I need to go get some, I need some thin elastic, like wide, about that long, because I've got those purple tuck shoes, which I like. They're super comfortable, the most comfortable shoes I've wore yet, but the tongue, I don't know, they're, something's wrong with the way they made them, and the tongue will like vanish because it won't stay in the middle. Um, it's only got four eyelets, so it's not like... There's a lot there shoestring wise to hold it. I've tried cranking it down. I was last time I wore them at Disney, I'm like sitting there like cutting circulation off my feet, trying to get it so tight that the tongue won't move. And I couldn't figure it out. So in my head, I'm thinking, well, I could probably get two little pieces of elastic and kind of like put it on connect the side side of the shoe, connect it under the tongue, and then connect it on the other side so that way I can still pull the tongue out to get my foot in but it really won't go right or left very much makes sense Corinne's like we just use you know pins I'm like yeah but that's my feet if that pin pops open it's like jabby jabbing my foot it's gonna hurt but I, I don't know if that's the best way to do it but maybe I'm overthinking it but that seems like the smartest thing to do and just maybe put like a little stitch all right, so I got to do my outro. This is it. We're um, watching the great British baking show. Did I get it right? Because it's got Noah from the Mighty Boosh in it. And it's funny. Um, what? Oh. Uh, no window. So I don't know what I'll do tomorrow. We'll see. What's in there? Michelle's planning to enchant the judges with something a little more traditional. So yeah, so that's what we're we're gonna see. Maybe I can get some sleep because I was up early again. And uh, I fixed my shoes, I think. So what I've done is um piece of elastic so that it stretches and it keeps my tongue from sliding down. It looks a right mess, but you know, it's better than my tongue's flopping out because ain't nothing worse than your tongue flopping out. I don't know. We'll see what happens. You, are you off tomorrow? No. Okay, so, well, we'll see. <laughs>